Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about strings. So what is a string? A string is a series of characters set treated as a unit. What it means? So what is a character? For example, C is a character, O is a character, L is a character, L is a character, E is a character, G is a character, E is a character. Now what is a string? A string is a series of characters. If you can combine all these characters, we get colors. Now, so colors is a string consists of characters C, O, L, L, E, G, E. So what is a string mean? String is a collection of characters. In C, string is represented as a, a character array. In our previous classes, we learned about array. Now, what is how we can represent string in C language? We can represent the string in C language by using character array. What it means? I store a string like this. For example, the data type is cat name of 10 equals to so what is the first one? C O L L E G E okay so this is the character array and the array name is name in this array you are going to store all these characters okay so that means in C so there is no data type string so we can use the character array to represent the strings so coming to string concept we have two types fixed length variable length in variable length we have two types one is length controlled another one is delimited we can discuss in detail so fixed length so fixed length string so what it means the size of the array is fixed so for example i define a array like this care name of 100 name of 100 so what it means in this array i am going to store 100 characters then so what is the disadvantage if i enter CRR. For three letters, I assign so 100 bytes of data. For example, I define an array like this, care name of 10. So in this array, I want to store CRR, College of Engineering. Now, the array is too small to store this string. So if you are going to use a so fixed length array, you are going to face some disadvantages. So what are the disadvantages? Either we lose memory location or we lose data. Okay. So that means if you specify the size of the array is very high, then the memory will be wasted. If the size of the array is reduced and in this case, we don't store the data. So this is the disadvantage we are going to face if you are using fixed length there. So next one, length controlled string. So there is so coming to variable length, we have two types. One is length control, another one is delimited. So length control strings is nothing but add a count that specifies the number of characters in the string. So for example, I want to store colleagues. I store the colleagues in the array. C O L L E G E and in first index, I am going to store the length of the array. What is the length of the array? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 is stored here. Okay. So this we are called as a length control array. So that means in the first location, it specifies that some number. Now, if you are using any string functions, then you are going to process this array so based on this number. So that we are called as a so length control. So this count, the 7, used by the string manipulation functions. Next, delimited string. So what is a delimiter? In English, how we can identify end of the sentence? We can identify end of the sentence by using dot. So that means if we see the dot in English, we assume that that is the end of the sentence. And similarly, in C, how we can identify end of the string means by using a delimiter that delimiter is slash zero slash zero 
so now we see how the college is represented by using the delimited strings how c o l l e g e and how we can identify the end of the string by using slash zero slash zero that means if the slash zero is encounter so that is end of the string so that is end of the string if you observe that here we have two types fixed length variable length here we don't get flexibility with the size so that means if i am declaring so char num of 10 as a fixed length or variable length then the memory allocation is 10 bytes only but we get the flexibility when you are using some string manipulated functions so in this class you are going to remember one thing in c the end of the string is identified with the help of a delimiter so that we are called as a slash zero i hope you all are understand string concept in c